Hi everyone! I'm so excited because I have another new video this week and it's going to be all about committing and pivoting your goals. So earlier in the beginning of the year, I talked about how to set goals for a year. And we are now a quarter into the year, so I think this is the perfect time to go in, look at those goals, and adjust where they need to be adjusted, and then further commit yourself to what you really want. We're gonna be doing this in three steps. So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back and review all of the goals we set at the very beginning of the year. I want you to look at each and every goal you set. I want you to think about these things. One, do I still wanna achieve this goal? Is it aligned for me? Two, how is the timeline working? How much progress have I made towards this goal? And three, how can I better adjust this goal so I can further commit to it and eventually accomplish it? So what I did is I looked at all my 2021 goals and I adjusted based on what goals I still wanted to achieve, some goals I completely took out, and I shelved these goals actually for a time where it would be better for me to fully commit to them, or I just realized that some of the goals weren't exactly aligned for me. And that is totally okay. When you're thinking about what you really want for you to be able to live your best life, you need to really evaluate what your time is going towards. So I just copied and pasted my 2021 goal template and instead of like writing out the different categories, I just inserted my new goals or changed the goals. Like I changed all the timelines and then I basically just grouped goals together. So here, like I've got a bunch of career goals all in one place. Or if you go down here, I've got like all my fitness goals in one place and I have my timelines that have all been adjusted. And yeah, I think that, and then I've also included like smaller goals as well and goals that are like year round. I've tracked all my changes from the very beginning of the year. So I kept the old goals and then I just literally copy and pasted this template so that I could make new goals in that old template. I didn't want to like lose the old goals I have just for like idea purposes. So that's why I kept all my old stuff. If you see up here, like all my old stuff is there. And then here I've just inserted the new stuff. I removed some things, I added new things, and I set new timelines and I was a lot more specific about each goal and I used what I had learned from the last three months to really form these new goals. The next step is I want you to look at your vision board if you made one before, because the next thing we're gonna be doing is revamping our vision board. You're gonna look at all those pictures from all the other goals that you wanted to achieve or still want to achieve, and I want you to pick better images that align with what you want right now. What is resonating with you more? If some images still work for you, then keep them, but I also want you to look at what else is out there. In these past three months, I'm sure you've changed grown and learned a little bit more about what you really want so try to find images that resonate with you so this is the vision board I set up at the beginning of 2021 I've got some obvious goals on here some quotes I like things about my bullet journal style drinks I want to try cheerleading books baking and just enjoying my life so these are some of the goals I had in the beginning of the year I want to revamp my vision board to better reflect what I want now so I'm gonna include things I've changed, things I'll be keeping, and I'm gonna choose images that really resonate with my new vision. So now I'm just going on Pinterest and looking for anything that resonates with me or my new vision board. Anything I like, I just saved to my 2021 vision board. So I go down and I look for my vision board and I've actually created a section called second quarter where I'm saving all my new pins. So I've got my old vision board pins here and then I've got my new vision board pins right in here here under second quarter. So these images are the images that are resonating with my goals going forward into the year. So now I'm just on Canva and this is where I'm gonna be building my vision board and rearranging my images. So this is my newly designed vision board. I've got all kinds of goals on here. So things like saving money, working out, eating healthy. I've got events on here like my birthday, having a picnic. I've also got some things that I'm just really excited about like flowers, trying new drinks, reading, and I've also included pictures that just fit the overall vibe I'm going for going into the second quarter of the year. 
The final step that we are gonna be doing is we are gonna be setting up goals for the second quarter. This is from April 1st to June 30th. So what I want you to do is look at all those goals you set going forward into the rest of the year and pick out what you want to accomplish in the next three months. I want you to think big goals, small goals, and I also want you to talk about or discuss your focus. Before getting into setting up my second quarter goals, I like to do a little reflection to just basically see where I'm at with myself. So I set up this first quarter review in my bullet journal. I'm just going to give a few examples for each heading I've written in my journal. Accomplishments, doing two interviews, doing two photo shoots, applying to be a pop flex power girl, achieving a healthier work-life balance, etc. Some highlights was going to Piva, celebrating my dad's 55th birthday, making vision boards, going thrifting on Main Street. Some things I learned were quality over quantity, how to relax and release that guilt feeling, knowing that I don't need to achieve everything all at once and totally abandoning deadlines. What I need more of, sleep and downtime, decluttering, better balance, talking to different people, and a slower pace. Some things I would change would be to not do things last minute and to not procrastinate my night routine, try to meal prep once a week, stop worrying about things like money, success, achieving my goals, and to just stop doing things that I don't actually like. The most important part of this reflection is what I want to take forward with me. So basically I wrote down things like alignment, playful energy, gratitude, optimism, eagerness, to learn and create uh, less structure flexibility openness and adventures all kind of fun stuff now for my second quarter goals so i started off by writing a focus so basically i really want to get back into alignment i want to be true to myself in every aspect of life and then just embrace childlike energy i'm dreaming of things like adventures things that light me up and just creative passion some of my main goals are to enjoy my last three months as miss teen canada to take a class at ubc to grow organically and authentically on Instagram and YouTube, and to collaborate with as many brands as possible. Some of my little goals include things like meal prepping once a week, reading more often, doing 10,000 steps a day, and decluttering and decorating my room. And then the last thing I did for my second quarter goal setup is I set an affirmation. So my affirmation for the next three months will be surrender to the unknown and trust that everything happens for your greatest good. And that was it. Those were my three steps that are really gonna help you commit and pivot your goals to be in better alignment for you. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!